what's up scrappy peeps it's Adele from Mickey Quill and today I'm scrapping these two little three by four photos of Archie the first time that he felt rain and it was so sweet to watch his expression because it had two of his favorite things it had outside and it had water and those two things combined can make him happy for a very long time so it's a 9 by 12 layout and I'm using basil marshmallow cardstock as my base if you're new to my channel that's the only white cardstock that I now use it's brilliant it's kind of prepped for mixed media so you don't have to put gesso on it you can just go it's different than normal basil cardstock um, so if you're wanting some make sure you get the marshmallow type so I'm using this stencil I have no idea what brand this stencil is sorry um, but I'm using it with some whipped spackle and I always I always love saying that it's a fun word to say say it whipped spackle it's a it's a great name uh, it's by Faber Castell and it's a texture paste but it's a very soft texture paste it it literally feels like it's been whipped and like whipped cream uh, so if you're wanting to try it, it, it I definitely highly recommend it I have dried it with my heat gun off camera because uh, it takes a little while to dry and I'm using my mermaid markers to add some color to this uh, piece of cardstock I have just filmed this video is probably not going up for a little while because I'm trying to get ahead so that I can film a, a new online class for you guys but I have just filmed a video for my patreon all about mermaid markers and we tried out a few different techniques and things so if you're interested in seeing more of those the link for my patreon is always in the description below and I'm just kind of mixing my colors together and just experimenting really to see what drippy rain effects I can get I I filmed this video when I did a whole lot with pattern paper backgrounds you've probably been seeing them pop up on my channel the last few weeks and I I needed a break from the pattern paper so I decided to go back to my my roots well my not really my roots because I I didn't start with mixed media scrapbooking but I guess my most recent roots <laughs> and I decided to to have a little bit of a play and I feel like when I film this at night time and I'm often more uh, experimental at night time with my scrapbooking. I don't know if it's because I don't have the rush of trying to film while Archie's napping or if one of the um, grandparents are babysitting him for the day and I only have a set amount of time that I have to film in. But at night times, usually when you see the crazier videos come out. So I'm using this beautiful black and white tissue paper to mat my photos and I didn't want to go too crazy with pattern paper for this one. I kind of wanted the focus to be on that background. So I didn't do too much matting. I also wanted a, quite a bit of white space because it's nice to balance when when you have such a, a bold background to balance it with a little bit of white space. I have had this journaling card from Studio Calico sitting in my stash for years. I think it's been years. I'm pretty sure it's been years. And it drives me crazy when I have a journaling card that's extremely specific in uh, its prompt. I know that I can always cover it up. That's my my motto you can always cover it up but I really wanted to use it for um, I did actually want to use it for a rainy day I'm sorry about the lighting here it does come back in in a moment there we go um, but I I just I, I never think of it when I have a rainy day photo and I don't often have rainy day photos I guess it's not it's not something that I photograph a lot a lot of my photos are indoor ones and so I've never had the need to use it but I, I finally I gave up and I decided to use it as an embellishment I'm going through this little pack of embellishments from is it Vicky is it Bouton but Bouton starts with a B I don't know how to pronounce it but she had this lovely pack of die cuts that had uh, quite a lot of journaling spots which I really liked so I was looking for some sort of spot that I could write my journaling on because I just didn't feel like writing it on the cardstock for some reason usually I would I was really tempted to use that orange card that said today was uh, but in the end I go with something a little bit different to 
kind of break up the monotony of the uh, rectangle photos. I felt that if I'd used that Today Was photo, would have been a little bit too rectangly. And yeah, it's just nice to, to change things up a little bit. I'm also using a frame, which is, it's one of those things that I have a, a very strong love-hate relationship with. I, I love the way they look, but I often really struggle to use them. Is anyone else the same with frames? I've done, I think I've done a couple of layouts over here on Inky Quill, maybe two years ago, I think. Uh, where I was very frame heavy in so I think it was maybe a grab five item in my grab five challenges that I do um, but I very rarely just reach for them just unless I've challenged myself to use them so I was quite proud of myself proud of myself for using it and a circle one at that uh, and I do really like the way that it overlaps that embellishment and it overlaps the other photos so it kind of brings it all in together I added that label that says be fearless something or other in small writing that I can't read because my computer screen isn't that big uh, but I thought it was perfect because at first Archie was very terrified to touch the rain he was as you can imagine very confused at this point he hadn't had a shower he we washed him in the bath so he really had no experience with water coming from above him he was used to, to bath water and uh, the spa and water in a bottle but other than that he his mind was blown uh, I think when it started coming from the sky so next up I found that little love die cut in that pack and I just I was going to get a bit fancy with my title and use some thickers but in the end I just called it love the rain because I'm that original with my titles uh, but sometimes it's nice to just do a you know title it what it is he does love the rain and I found that star in the top right corner was also from that ephemera pack and it matched really well with that journaling circle so then I decided to go with a bit of a star theme because stars remind me of the sky and rain comes from the sky so stars it is so then I chopped off a little bit because I do really like to uh, overlap some of my embellishments off the page and I feel like that's a really nice way to kind of add a little bit of extra interest to your embellishments just to not have them plonked just anywhere willy-nilly but to have them spilling off the page like oh I just accidentally placed this here it's I think it I think it's a nice kind of look so then I'm adding some of these tinier stars and I am adding a bit of extra glue because uh, they weren't as sticky as they first were. I think I may have had them on my desk in the sun for a couple of days and I found that the stickiness wasn't as sticky in the end. I'm using my food ball pen to write this and I wish I hadn't because it it bleeds a little bit on the cardstock. Not, not really, but it kind of gives a bit of a... A feathered look to the letters and in the end I had to go back over here with my Stadler pigment liner and just kind of fixed up the edges just because they were they're a little bit furry and I wasn't a fan of that of that look so while I'm uh, while I'm recording this video I was watching I was binge watching like an entire season of the real housewives and at that point i was watching uh the latest season of beverly hills and that real housewives is definitely one of my guilty pleasures particularly new york oc and beverly hills uh let me know in the comments down below what do you like to watch when you scrapbook if you watch things when you scrapbook what do you like to watch i kind of go between either I really enjoy watching like a, a series of shows so that I don't have to, uh, you know, take a break from my layout to change episodes or to change shows or to change YouTube videos. I either watch a series or I will watch my uh, watch later playlist on YouTube of scrappy videos. But lately I've been really enjoying watching just some mindless reality TV. It's, it's nice to just zone out and have a little bit of me time while I'm scrapbooking. So now I'm adding a bit of stamping. It just needed something because the, it kind of needed something, a bit of a, a structured 
topography because I'd done the um, I had done the cursive of my handwriting and then the cursive of the title it needed something that was a bit more formal and structured just to contrast a little bit I also wanted to put a stamp sideways on that top photo just to bring your eye vertically down to the journaling uh, just I just felt like it was missing something it's time for some hearty shine shake 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 sing it with me shake your heart shine shake your heart shine sorry for any new subscribers who are unaware of why I just broke out in random song that's the hearty shine song and I sing it every time I use my hearty shine and uh, sing along with me at home if you're as lame as I am <laughs> so now I'm just adding a few little tiny stars just to finish this off because teeny tiny stars finish everything off and I desperately need to buy some more of those actually because I think I may only have one more spare packet but I have a feeling the seller that I bought them off on eBay doesn't sell them anymore and I think that was my trouble I tried to find the link for someone and I couldn't find it hmm going to have to find them again adding a bit of gold hardy shine here and there and the layout is all done I really love the way this one looked it was something kind of not different for me but it was different from what I've been doing regularly uh, and it was just nice to wow that's bright turn down that brightness that nasty light there we go uh, it was kind of nice to go back to my roots and experiment with a bit of mixed media thanks for watching today guys don't forget to turn on the bell notification because the subscription thing's not working properly on YouTube now so turn on that bell so you get notified when I have a new video I'll see you next time bye